what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we will discuss how we can get all the data from the firebase database into our html page and in the form of a table so uh, i have uh, uh, the data of these students uh, each student has a name roll number section and gender so uh, i want all of these students data uh, into my page and in the form of a table so let us begin so first of all I will create the structure of the table so in my body I will say table and inside this the t head section which uh, which will contain all of our header tags give a serial number for each record now t body so this will contain uh, records of our students i need to give it an id of let's say t body one and now i will add the firebase configuration if you don't know how to configure uh, the firebase database you should uh, go watch the video in the description now we will get all the data from the firebase so for that i am creating a function select all data now firebase dot database dot reference reference means the address so my address is student you can see that all of my data is in the folder of a student dot once value function all records because uh, it will contain all the records uh, from the firebase database now inside here all records dot for each because i need uh, to add each uh, each record into my table separately so i need a for each loop for that so inside this for each loop uh, I will create another function which will contain the current record so I will add the current record into my table as a record or as a table raw so I will create uh, four variables like var name and the current record dot well it is a function to get the property from firebase with by giving its name so name of student another one for the roll number and, uh, and uh, these names should be exact as uh, there are in the record so now I will call a function which I haven't created so add items to table so I will create this function below here in this function I will pass all these variables and now I will use the window dot on load property to run this function on the page load so whenever the page loads this function will run now we have all the data and we can start filling our table so uh, before that i want to show you how uh, our dummy record uh, will look like in uh, in the in our table so in a html table there is a table tag and inside that table tag there is a head section which will contain all the header or all the headings uh, of the table and then there is a body section which will contain all the records there are in the table so it will contain a tr 
means table raw so uh, this will contain one record and inside this record there will be td tags and each tag will contain the information uh, below each of the header tag so when i run this it looked like this so i wanted uh, everyone to have an idea uh, of uh, how a table works in the uh, html so now we will create uh, the function uh, to fill our table so now we will create this add item to table var t body equals to document dot get element by id and i want to get the t body one var t raw equals to so currently there are no rows in our table you can see that the t body is blank so we need to create a new raw with document dot create element tr so we will give the tag name here and then i am gonna copy and paste this and td1 so here i am gonna create a td element so all these tds will go inside the t raw and then the t raw will go inside this t body so for that so t raw dot append child td1 td2 3 4 and 5 but before passing these empty tds we need to update their values so td1 dot in our html equals to i need a, a variable for this so for student number equals to zero now here plus plus std number this will start with one and increment on the way each time a record is added now copy and paste this inside td2 the name will go so uh, our table uh, our function should also take four arguments and now so uh, we have all these uh, tds in our uh, t raw now we have to add the t raw to our t body so t body append child add the t raw to the t body now let's try to run this but wait a minute i haven't defined the firebase libraries here so so i need these firebase libraries as well and you can see that all the records are here but this uh, table looks hideous so uh, to make it look uh, attractive uh, i will use some bootstrap but if you don't know bootstrap don't worry it's not a hard thing so you have to write bootstrap 4 in the google go to this introduction link and just copy this css link and now just write class in your table and give the class of table it will give style to our table so let's see how our table looks after after applying the bootstrap styling it looks like a pretty good table and we can also uh, modify it more by give uh, by putting it inside a container so this is also a bootstrap class 
now when I run it, it's now centralized. And also I can say margin top tree. You can also say table dark and text white. So now our table looks like this. So these are some bootstrap classes uh, which will make your table look good uh, without you wasting your time uh, styling the table. So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.